and that's just what it's gonna be today because yeah good morning it's Tuesday and I'm having a bad hair day as you can tell I put my hair in ponytail this morning and that's just what it's gonna be today because yeah but we're here and Paisley is over there with my popped yoga ball. How pop this thing is. Won't even bounce. Yes, it will, but I actually messaged the mom of the student who popped the ball, but I haven't heard anything back yet. Um so yeah, my Praying mantis and caterpillars are still here. No popped? change, really. <laughs> Have they popped yet? Have they popped yet? Popped, I mean. I'm taking off this. I've got to put Paisley's hair up, too. Oh, today's our kitty cat's birthday. Winston is one today. So we sang him happy birthday this morning, didn't we? Like a thousand times. <laughs> What's your slime? They didn't bring it in. Oh. So, as you can tell, we are all bundled up. Well, she was bundled up because it is still cold outside. It was like 40 degrees this morning, and it's April 10th. Somebody I know has a birthday in eight days, I think. You don't even know what my birthday is. Yes, I do. I was just kidding. This morning we were riding to school and Mama was thinking about something and said, How old are you? And I went, You don't even know how old I am. She will be seven in eight days. Can't believe it. Seems like yesterday you were born. Yeah, it really does. All right, well, I'm going to get off here and get some things done and I'll check back in with you guys later. I hope you have a good day today. Love you. <laughs> well, I have to admit, it has been a very good day so far. My kids have been working hard and we um, did a really successful morning meeting this morning. It was nice. My kids, you know, cleaned up as soon as announcements came on and got ready so that was really good we don't usually get the whole time to do our morning meeting so we did a little dance and we did a little chant and so it went really well and we did a greeting and announcements so that's a plus we did our rotations this morning my kids were so good they were quiet they worked hard I don't know why but I'm not complaining because it was really nice. I could work with a group at my table and get some things done with them. I have been trying to fit in my sub plans, working on my sub plans every, you know, second or two that I have to do that because like I said, I'm not going to be here and I've got lots of work to do. So I've been doing that this morning, just, you know, here and there while my kids are working. We had our wise groups today and my group did really good. I want to show you what we've been doing um, we have been taking text, I don't know if I told you guys this already, but we're doing Wiggly Worms, and I went through the book and highlighted, uh, four sentences for each student, and then they turned in the fact into a question and then answered it. So, how are earthworm body, earthworms body shaped? And then the answer is like one tube inside another. And so she used this fact. An earthworm's body is shaped like one tube inside another. So we're taking facts and turning them into questions and then writing the answer to them. And then I will let them share with someone else from the group. So they just kind of share questions and answers. So that went really well. And they all got a starburst this morning because they worked really hard. I had two girls actually completely finish and start reading the book again. And then when they got back from their small groups, we watched a mystery Doug 
It was the one about why do we celebrate April Fool's Day and it was really cute and funny and the kids loved it. And then once that was over, I had a little girl share a story that she's been working on. And yeah, so now they're at lunch. They're having ham and macaroni and cheese today. Because we are reading a book called Gregory the Terrible Eater, my kids are tracking their fruit and vegetables this week on this sheet. No, not that sheet. This sheet. It's a fruit and veggie tracker, and so they just color in how many fruits and vegetables they eat each day. And they're supposed to color in one apple per serving of fruit or vegetables. So they'll be doing that each day for breakfast and lunch since they eat those two meals at school. And when they get back, we are gonna observe our caterpillars and do our caterpillar journal. And then they will go to library today. I'm not sure if I'm meeting with my grade level. So if we are not, then I will see you guys when my kids go to library. The black spot. Very slow. You can tell that one's moving. He needs to get down and eat. He's gonna be small. Good. Go put the date. Yeah. Gonna we'll color him and write today's date so we know when. My head is killing me, y'all, like seriously killing me. And I didn't eat lunch today, I was going to, but I had too much to do, so I haven't taken anything because I don't want to take it on an empty stomach. So I might go get my lunch here in the next couple of minutes, or at least a snack, and take something because my head is killing me. Uh, my kids are at library right now, and I've actually been in the room for about 20 minutes or so. I've been um, working on just straightening up and organizing things, laying piles out of things to, to have ready for my sub. Y'all, being out of work is way harder than being here. It is just crazy, especially when I'm out two days back to back. I have to plan two days, complete full days, print everything, um, type everything up. It is just craziness. So, my great morning turned into a headache and it's not any fun. So I'm gonna go get a snack real quick and take me some Advil since I have to pick my kids up in 10 minutes. Yeah. Headache, headache, go away. This has been one heck of an afternoon. It is almost six o'clock and I am still here. I just finished my sub plans for two days in a row. This is how I organized everything. I have my substitute information here on the top. This is Wednesday and then I have everything that my kids are going to be doing on Wednesday in this basket in order. And then I have Thursday morning work and then the same thing here, Thursday substitute information and then everything that they're going to do that day in here in order. These are the books they're using. This is just some information for groups and then a sample of a timeline that we're going to be doing or sequencing I should say. So I am right now laying out morning work. I've got to make an anchor chart and then I think I'm ready to go but I have literally been sitting here working for almost three hours trying to get all of this done. It is crazy what I have to do to get ready for a sub and then adding a day like and then doing two days together is just crazy. It's so much easier just to be here. But anyways, um, I'm going to jump off here and head home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it. And since I will not be here tomorrow or Thursday, I will not be filming. So I will see all of you on Friday.